Hey everyone, this is Amanda Kulong reporting for TechZulu.com. We are at the TechCrunch 50 conference in San Francisco, and I am here with Shervin Pishvar. How Hi. are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, but we also have another little guest here, and, and I'd like to know who he, she, it is. <laughs> um, this is uh, the Woozy. This, um, this is our prototype uh, okay. demonstrating what the ToyBots platform and uh, ToyBots Magic Network is going to enable. Okay. So, so the internet connected to a toy. Exactly. Um, right. So this is kind of the dawn of an internet of things. Um, uh -huh. And the idea is that, you know, just as the Kindle uh, mm -hmm. connects you to the internet and you can download books, mm -hmm. um, you know, the idea with ToyBots is that the, we can now connect all kinds of toys to the online world with all kinds of games and entertainment and downloading of books, et cetera. Okay. Um, and what we're doing is we're a software company mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be providing this to you know other um, other people like toy manufacturers okay. and developers, et cetera, as a platform to do this type of uh, implementation. So. so this is a very early stage sneak preview then at the, at the Woozy. So there will be many different Woozies that are sold out there There'll be all kinds of things, but beyond the woozies as well. So, um, you know, hope, you know, we're in talks with you know major toy manufacturers, yep. for example, um, and uh, lots of people are interested in actually licensing this. Um, so, really, we're kind of the the platform that enables that to happen. Mm -hmm. We we're going to be announcing a major deal with the telecommunications providers that bundles the connectivity with the okay. Magic Network. Sure. Um, and then developers are going to have an SDK that they can develop apps for all wow. these different devices okay. that are connected. So um, ToyBots is kind of ushering in this this era of connected toys and entertainment. So what will the Woozy be able to do? Can it read, you know, can it read bedtime stories to me? Absolutely. And so, so you know, I, for instance, I'm 3,000 miles away from my family back right. in Maine. Right. So if I wanted to, and I'm kind of a geek this way, could I even have a Woozy, you know, talk to me only, it'd it be my father talking to me through the Woozy? Sure, yeah. Because my dad can be really long-winded and it would be much more entertaining to have my dad talk through the Woozy than to talk on that the would phone. Be, so. That would be great. <laughs> oh, absolutely. This enables it. And that's really what, we, you know, what I presented yesterday. We right. talked about all the different applications. This platform has, you know, 3G, Wi-Fi, GPS, accelerometer. Wow. Um, the ability to download audiobooks and, okay. and download voice messages, etc., and play mm -hmm. them. So, so great for, say, a dad who's traveling to a lot of conferences, and right. a mom who's you know out and about a lot because she also right. has a job in addition to being at home with the kids. Exactly. So, okay. And one thing we talked about is um, like a, there could be a travel app that a developer does mm -hmm. so that when the woozy or any toy enters a new uh, area, mm -hmm. like let's say you're you're on a family trip and you enter a new state. The Wizzy can start telling you about the history of that area. Um, so a good educational device, too. Absolutely. I think there could be a lot of, um, we're excited about the educational applications yeah. and read along and things like that that can happen. And again, we're, we're trying to be the platform behind mm -hmm. it. And we want, I think that, you know, we'll be surprised a year or two years from now from all the different implementations. Who knows what people will come up with for oh, the Woozy. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's very similar to what, with the iPhone when it first launched. Right. You know, it didn't have an app store. People couldn't really imagine what yeah. could happen. And, and now you have a billion, you know, downloads of apps later. Have, have your Woozy entertain the, the kids with some educational games right. or... Um, even what about the woozy being, you know, how kids have their blankies or, you know, right. their special thing that goes everywhere with them. Well, if there's GPS in it too, I'm yep. sure that that's going to be appealing to parents. No, absolutely. You know, um, take your woozy everywhere kind of thing. Absolutely. <laughs> and, um, and also we, we're mindful of any concerns around, you know, security. So parent, if in right. an implementation where the toy is, is for kids, then the parents will control who, who has access to downloading, you know, stories, etc. Right. So they would have to approve, you know, grandma, mm -hmm. you know, um, sister, brother, etc. Right. in the family. So. What if the woozy said, you really should take your medicine? See, when I, like when I was a kid, we, we had a little puppet, just a basic little <laughs> puppet that my mother would use to make me take my medicine, right. but this is the new age of the puppet telling no, me to absolutely. take the medicine. That's a great idea. There's, and that's really, I mean, there's going to be all kinds of recordings and, yeah. you know, crowdsourcing of scripts and, and yeah. games and things like that and using this as an accelerometer to control online games yeah. can happen so um, okay. again yeah this is, Woozies is uh, 
something very cute, and it, it's a prototype of what the, what the ToyBots platform is going to enable. And so when roughly will it be available? The first ToyBot toys uh, should be launched by uh, kind of Christmas holidays 2010. Okay. So we're now, you know, talking to toy manufacturers, et cetera, Great. about implementing it. So. Great. Well, thank you so much for your no, time. Thank you. And I got to shake this little guy's hand, too. Bye, Wooly. You were so cute, little layers. Thanks so much. <laughs> so everyone make sure that you check out Toy Box and Woozy look in the stores 2010, holiday-ish time. And this is Amanda reporting for TechZulu at TechCrunch 50.